What's up guys, Dick in here, and I got a PS5, oh my gosh, okay, story time, I'm gonna let this play in the back while I tell story, um, it is very hard to get one of these, okay, I was not able to get one anywhere in town because of COVID, and basically they had to be ordered online, I waited at the Walmart thing, which was like 12, 3, 6, and 9, I waited for all those, didn't get a single one, I missed two on Target that had them in the checkout area, couldn't get them, and I missed uh, two on Amazon, I swear I had at least 10 of these things in the cart in the last week, and I was only able to get one, where did I get it from? I got it from Sony! actually the Sony website I heard they were gonna launch a couple so I went to a website and they made me wait like an hour in this wait room but it wasn't launch time yet so I kinda got to wait ahead of time and then I got put in the front of line so as soon as it came out I was actually able to secure one and I feel so lucky because I've been trying to get like another one I mean I've been trying to like find more and I you can't they're all sold out they're the biggest thing in the world it's hard not to want to resell this but it happened I got one and I am very thankful, and I want to just talk real quick what I think about next gen. I just show off the controller. I want to say the controller feels amazing. The touch sensitive, the rumble, even though I don't like the uh, trigger pulls. They make they have this new thing where the trigger is harder to press. I turn that off in every single game. I like my controllers being loose. I don't like it being hard to press, but the controller is a little bit bigger. I love the controller. The rumble feels amazing. I don't like the color of it, but when I was playing Tony Hawk Remake 1 and 2, it did feel a little too big. It was a bit harder to hit those fast inputs because of how big it, big it is. So it comes with the stand and all the power stuff you see here. I put the stand on and I compare it to the PS4. So that's coming soon. But I want to talk about next-gen games. So far, I have Watch Dog Legends for PS4, which is a free upgrade to PS5. And then for PS5, I have Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I have Spider-Man Miles Morales. I've also played No Man's Sky. And I've played a few other games, but these are the major ones I want to talk about. No Man's Sky looks phenomenal. You can literally look up and see the draw distance to other planets in the sky. There's more fauna on the ground. It runs so smooth. It loads in less from the menu to game in 15 seconds. It's one of the most amazing updates I've seen. And if you haven't got No Man's Sky now, you should get it. Um, Assassin Creed... Valhalla is my favorite game right now. I'm playing it as you speak. It's on the screen right now and it looks amazing. It basically reminds me of the next edition to Skyrim or the next edition to Witcher 3. It's that good. It's amazing and I absolutely love that game. But let's get on to uh, Watch Dog Legends. It's also really, really good. I don't like the city as much, but it's really futuristic. All the cars drive themselves. There's drones flying around everywhere. I really do love how beautiful it is and I want to show you guys these games. Um, Spider-Man Miles Morales only played 20 minutes up. It looks amazing, but I can't stop playing Assassin's Creed. But I really want to show you these games. My game capture doesn't capture PS5. It, like, glitches. I don't know if I could use a different hardware, but I don't know. Maybe I can just get, like, a USB stick and just capture it directly from the PS5 or maybe even live stream. Let me know what you guys think of the PS5. Did you manage to get one? You probably didn't. And, um, I'm just saying next-gen looks amazing and i really want to show you guys what i mean in the next video so hopefully you guys can get some footage let me know what you guys think in the comments below like the video and i'll talk to you guys later peace